Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing um, a run through of a, the wiring on a 240 consumer unit. And this is a basic consumer unit uh, for either your camper van, your motor home, or even your caravan. Um, now, if you are doing a, a, bit, a basic setup, um, I'd probably advise you if you're going to an electrical wholesaler to, to go and buy a garage consumer unit. Um, they only come with two breakers, but that's all, all you really need in, uh, in something like that for your, for your sockets. Uh, fridge, you might have a microwave in there. Um, but I don't know if you notice this one, 16 amp, and this one's a 6 amp. Um, while you're there, I'd probably ask them to sell you another 16 amp, so you've got two 16 amp breakers, because um, you don't want to be overloading it and, and it tripping out. Um, let's open this one up. Okay, they're really straightforward um, to wire up, and I always start off uh, with a thin straight away uh, so you can see this bar across here um, something like this I'd recommend probably a, a 6 or even an 8 mil uh, earth wire down to the chassis um, again when you're wiring this up make sure everything's nice and tight in the screws um, and also when you're going down to the chassis if, you, if you're going onto a painted surface especially uh, make sure you rub that down with some, some sandpaper make sure you get down onto to the burr metal uh, probably put a washer on there as well and when you're bolting it up, um, I would use a locking nut rather than just a standard nut because you don't want that coming loose and that will cause you all sorts of problems. Um, so first off, like I say, um, you're going to have to, to drill in here somewhere. We've got some, some ports here that you can come into, um, as you can see on the top and the bottom. Um, previously, if, if I want to keep the, the wiring neat, especially if I've sent a vehicle through type approval where you're not allowed to have any wires shown, uh, I've actually drilled some holes down here uh, and brought the wiring through the panel straight into the box so you can't see any wiring at all. Um, that's a good tip as well if, you, if, you, if you're wanting to throw it through a type approval. Um, your main feed in from your, your 240 hookup, you need to use something a minimum of, um, it's flexi cable as well, but a minimum of, of 2.5 um, wire, uh, 3 core. For your uh, for your inlet for your your, your main feed in and that usually comes in maybe an orange sheaf or a yellow sheaf not necessarily a white sheaf because you'll have the white ones coming out of your breakers here so when you bring your um, your your main feed in you're going to bring it like I said whether it's the top or the bottom you're going to bring your earth wire straight up into here and then you've got two points there and there and then your main feeds in and all you've got to do is copy. What you've got at the bottom here, your negative and your live. So online with that, you'll have your uh, your negative, and online with that one, you'll have your live in. Uh, once you've put your two wires in there and your earth right up there, that that part's done. Um, and then you also you've got to work out if you're going to keep your 16 amp and your 6 amp rather than upgrading to a 16 amp as well for this one. Um, you're going to have to work out what what you've got in there. So like I say, if you've got sockets, you may you may have more than you know, uh, one lot of sockets, um, you might have a microwave in there, you've got a fridge, uh, whatever else you're running that's on 240. Try and distribute them evenly um, over the breakers. You don't want to overload one more than the other, uh, you're just going to get it where it's going to be tripping out. Um, and again, um, you notice you've got a bar here which joins these two breakers together. So for this one, you're going to be coming underneath. And it's exactly the same. If you can see here, the negative and the live, all you're doing is going parallel straight down. So that one there is your negative and the one next to it is your, is your live. And it's the same. So your first one again will be your negative and that one will be your live. Um, other than that, uh, it, they, they are pretty straightforward to do. Um, there's nothing very complicated about these type of setups. Um, like I said, they're not like a, a household one. Um, where it looks like a spaghetti junction basically when you open them up um, there's, there's not that much to go at but again if you are, if you are doing one I'd recommend if you get it from a wholesaler, electrical wholesaler it's probably a garage consumer unit because it only comes with two breakers um, so thank you for watching uh, if you've got any questions um, please leave some at the bottom and I'll get back to you as soon as I can uh, and this video came from uh, my last one which I did was for the, for the split relays 
uh, a guy asked me about uh, a breakdown of the wiring on these things so if there is anything um, that on your conversions that you're doing whether it be uh, a micro switch water pump with submersible pumps or you're wiring up a, a turbo vent for extraction I think anything like that if you've got any questions I'll try and do a video for you anyway well many thanks for looking thank you